Welcome back. This is another exciting episode of Mr. Takeda's Teaching Math 7. This is lesson 7.5 on scale drawings in which we ask the question, how can you enlarge or reduce a drawing proportionally? Huh. Well, we used to do lots of uh, things like this when I was a kid, um, trying to take a picture and draw it bigger. And we would, put, we would make, we'd have two grids. And uh, if we were in class, we might be doing something like that as an activity, but we're not. So let's just try to focus on the math part of it. And let's take a look, shall we? A scale drawing is a proportional two-dimensional drawing of an object. A scale model is a proportional three-dimensional model of the object. Okay, so you know what a drawing is in a model. You know, you know what a model is as well. The fact that it's the scale means it's proportional. So when we talk about the scale, in uh, so for example, you know, when you have a map of something, you know, the map isn't the same as the as the area. So if, if you have a map of uh, California, the map isn't the same size as California. It's much smaller, much, much smaller, but it's to scale, you know. So uh, so the distance between uh, Los Angeles and San Francisco is to, is, is to scale of the actual distance to Los Angeles and San Francisco. So, for instance, here is a scale that could be from a map. One inch is equal to 10 miles. And they can write it like uh, ratio style or they could write it with a colon ratio style. Uh, but it's basically a ratio that compares the drawing distance to the actual distance. That way you can use the map to figure out the actual distance between things. Let's try this. It says, what is the actual distance D between Cadillac and Detroit? Okay, so here's Detroit. And Cadillac, Cadillac Ranch is right here. And step one use a centimeter ruler to find the distance on the map between cadillac and detroit well we're not really using books and paper and we're not really using rulers but if i were to lay a ruler a, a centimeter ruler across here and it'd be a straight line distance the act says actual distance as opposed to driving distance because driving distance would be longer right because you have to kind of like take this route and this route but if you went uh, directly across there, it would measure 3.5 centimeters. There's an old saying about a measurement like this or a distance like this. They say, as the crow flies. You guys know that? You guys know that, uh, that saying, as the crow flies? That means like a direct distance because, you know, crows don't uh, follow roads. They fly directly between two points. So they say, as the crow flies. So the distance between Cadillac and Detroit as the crow flies, 3.5 centimeters. The scale, one centimeter equals 50 miles. Okay, so let's uh, let's let's uh, write that out as a ratio. One centimeter equals 50 miles, and then so there's our scale. Then our measurement is 3.5 centimeters, and I guess we're going to solve for d, and we're going to use d as that. All right, <clears throat> and this would be d miles. All right, so uh, 1 times D is a D. And so I'm cross-multiplying. And then 50 times uh, 50 times 3.5. Okay, so using a calculator, 50 times 3.5, 175 miles. So the actual distance between Cadillac and Detroit is 175 miles as the crow flies. Uh, let's take a look here. Uh, try this one. Essentially, okay, using the map from example one, the scale again was one. Uh, remember the scale was one centimeter equals 50 miles. Let me write this over here for you before you start. One centimeter equals 50 miles. What's the distance D between Detroit and Marquette? And the distance between them on the map is 7 centimeters. Okay, pause the video here, finish this one out, and I will join you on this screen here. Finding a distance in a model. The liquid outer core of Earth is 2,300 kilometers thick. 
the liquid outer core. I guess that's this part here. It's kind of like a brown area. A scale model of the Earth layers, uh, a scale model of the layers of Earth has a scale of one inch to 500 kilometers. How thick is the liquid outer core of the model? Okay, so um, let's write that scale one inch to 500 kilometers. And that's equal to, we're still talking proportions here, right? Now we want the model. So that's going to be uh, up here because the shorter distance is the model. So we're going we're, we're to call that uh, T, I guess, for thickness. They don't give us a, they don't give us a, a variable to use, T. And then the actual, the actual uh, thickness is 2,300 kilometers. All right. So let's uh, let's cross multiply here. Uh, one times twenty three hundred is twenty three hundred. Five hundred times t is five hundred t. And now we divide both sides by five hundred to solve for t. And again, this is a calculator one because the numbers get weird. Twenty three hundred divided by 500 4.6 4.6 and that would be inches right because how thick is the uh, liquid outer core of the model the model is in inches so it's 4.6 inches okay so again we're just uh, uh, setting up proportions here and, and solving them try this one now the uh, this one is describing the thickness of um, the crust on some continents and let me let's pull back this so you can see it again it's one inch is 500 kilometers one inch equals 500 kilometers okay so uh, figure out the thickness of the crust on the model again all right and I will join you on, not that screen, that's for class, on this example here, finding a scale factor. So in this case, I guess they're not going to give us a scale factor. We have to find the scale factor. A scale model of the Sergeant Floyd mo uh, monument is 10 inches tall. The actual monument is 100 feet tall. Okay, so if they give us those, uh, if they give us the... Uh, uh, the same relative measurement or the the measurements of the same um, uh, the same parts of the actual compared to the model we can we can we can figure this out here uh, so 10 inches equals 100 feet but we want to kind of simplify it. we want to try and simplify it so one of these equals one all right so let's divide everything by 10 And that gets me, what, one inch equals 10 feet. Okay, so there's my, there's my uh, scale. One inch is 10 feet. Um, oh, that's the scale. Hold on a second. I want to make sure I get these languages right. What's the scale? What's the scale factor? Okay, so for scale factor, we're going to start with one inch. In 10 feet when they when they want the scale factor we're gonna say there's no units all right so up here we're comparing inches into feet so we need to make both of these the same the same uh, units and then they'll cancel out so well uh, oops that's my mistake so one inch now, how many how many inches are in ten feet? Well, if there's twelve inches in one foot, then there's a hundred and twenty inches in um, ten feet. But see, I have inches over inches, so they cancel out just like factors do uh, when you're simplifying um, when you're simplifying um, uh, fractions, right? You the the you you cross out or you cancel out 
common factors. Well, common units of measure will also cancel out. So our scale factor is 1 over 120, or uh, you might write it 1 to 120. Yeah, so, the, uh, so what's, what's this saying? It's saying that the, the actual monument's 120 times larger than the, um, uh, than the model. Okay, well that completes this lesson and this chapter, except for what we're going to do in class. Um, and that's it, and uh, we'll see you in class. Bye.